What's up YouTube? This is Dennis Panuta for tutorials.eu. In this video, I would like to talk about a rather serious topic and that is the imposter syndrome. And this is a syndrome that a lot of developers have and it is something that I have as well, or I had quite a bit in the past. I still have it sometimes. It's basically feeling that you don't deserve what you have. And this is something that a lot of developers suffer from. And I definitely wanted to talk about this topic because I believe that it can help you understand this concept a little better and maybe also get a little more self-confident and feel better about yourself after watching this video, having watched this video. So let's get started. And by the way, if you believe that this video helped you or will help you, then hit the like button and also hit the subscribe button because we upload a bunch of really cool developers videos on this channel. All right, so what is the imposter syndrome? Well, to put it simply, the imposter syndrome is when you can't believe that you deserve the success you have made or achieved due to a lack of skill or effort. Now, of course, this can happen to anyone and in any field, but why is it so dominant in the IT industry? First, let's get things clear. I like to think of programming as the closest thing to magic or having superpowers. And programmers are actually wizards or have superpowers. Because seriously, programmers can understand and do stuff that ordinary people, so non-tech savvy people, just cannot. Now, when you compare them to each other, these wizards or superhumans will have a massive gap in their skills or power levels. For example, when you compare Superman with someone who can produce tea from his pinky while asleep, well, yeah, and... And this is where the imposter syndrome comes from. Although you are a wizard, although you have superpowers, there are always people stronger or better than you. And since these people could be your colleagues or even your close friends, you will automatically start comparing yourself to them. And this is the first mistake that you're making. It would be best if you never compared your success to others because you have different circumstances and abilities. Plus, you can't really tell how tough their life is because it might be just that they are barely holding it together like a house of cards. I'm not trying to tell you how to get rid of the imposter syndrome. I'm actually trying to tell you how not to suffer from it. Because just by having these thoughts that you are a fake or a fraud means that you have your ego in check. And at least you do not overestimate your abilities. A swift fix would be to sit and write down your achievements. These could be things you've done, like projects or tasks at your job that your boss praised you for. These achievements could also be stuff that you have learned. Believe me, before you know it, you will have this paper overflowing with stuff. And remember, even if you are the weakest superhero or the worst wizard, there are people who you could easily blow their minds by the stuff you did or know. Okay, so these were some slides that we prepared and also some text that we prepared and I basically read them. But now let's give you a little example of me. So now I, at this point, while creating this video or recording this video, the YouTube channel has 25,000 subscribers, which is not huge, but it's a good success already, right? And on Udemy, I have reached 200,000 subscribers or 200,000 students, people who bought courses for me and who are learning from me, which is an amazing achievement as well. But still, if I compare myself to somebody who has 1 million students on Udemy, or if I compare myself to people who have a million subscribers on YouTube, then I feel like I'm a fraud or I could feel like I'm a fraud, but that doesn't help me. It really doesn't. So I should not compare myself to other people and I should compare myself to myself, how I was yesterday or the day before yesterday or a month ago. And then just be thankful for how I have progressed. Of course, sometimes you won't progress within this short period of time, but in the long run, as long as you're working on your skills and on your mindset, you will become better and you will feel a lot better. It's really important to remind ourselves to really just look back at where we were. And in order to understand that, it's always good to make reviews and write down where we were at a sp specific point in time and a given moment so that you can then come back half a year later and check where you were. Quick pause. This video is sponsored by our own website and especially by our learning paths. So if you want to become a developer, definitely check out our learning paths page where you can start either with a free tutorial or you can check out our paid courses, which are complete courses, which will first bring you 
to an advanced level and then to a pro level, depending on which course you're taking and at which point in your career you are. So definitely check those out, tutorials.eu slash learning minus paths and get our courses highly discounted. You can find the link in the description below. For me, for example, I've set up a list here with a bunch of tasks that I would like to outsource. And I set this up two years ago and were, it's like roughly 30 tasks. And then recently I swiped through my phone and I realized that I made this list. So I opened up the list again and I realized that 80% of the tasks were in fact outsourced. So I have a team now who's helping me to create these videos, who's helping me to create great YouTube content, as well as my courses and a lot more. And they do stuff that they can do better than I do. And I'm so grateful for that. And I just realized that I had set this up, that it set there the goals that I set up there basically, and I achieved them. And if I hadn't done that, I wouldn't feel so thankful for it. You know, I wouldn't even realize that I have achieved something. And there are a bunch of things like that. I mean, Im just imagining five years ago that I would reach 200,000 people with my courses. It's, it's incredible. Like I would have never imagined that. And now if I look into the future, I could reach a million maybe in a couple of years, right? If I'm working hard on it, if I'm not getting down by looking at others and trying to compare myself, I might actually get there. And another thing that you can really do is just be thankful. Just make it a habit to be grateful for what you have or for just things that are around you that you can be thankful for. There are so many things. Like the, at the beginning you get started and you are thankful for maybe, I don't know, your parents. Then you're thankful for the fact that you have a house and electricity and a TV or a PC, which you can work on. Then maybe you can start to be thankful for YouTube, for the fact that there is such a platform like YouTube. Then you could think of, okay, well, I'm actually thankful for having water, like running water that doesn't kill me when I drink it. Like just this is already crazy to think about like 200 years ago, there was no such thing, right? And there are a bunch of other things that you can be thankful for. And I made this a habit at my dining table. So I started doing that and my four-year-old daughter, she also started to say what she's thankful for. And then when I forgot it, she would even remind me and tell me, hey, Papa, we didn't say what we were thankful for. And that's amazing because then you can just say what you're thankful for. And this is the best weapon against anxiety because when you're thankful, you cannot be anxious. When you are thankful, you will feel less like an imposter. Okay, so as IT guys, we have to be thankful. We have to work on ourselves and just compare ourselves to ourselves from the past and not to somebody else. You don't know their stories. You don't know what they're struggling with. I know that there are a bunch of people who are more successful than I am that I would never want to swap my life with theirs because they have so many problems that I wouldn't want to have. And with that, I would like to thank you for watching this video. And well, if you like this video, then hit that like button and also subscribe if you're interested in programmer and programming related videos in the future. All right. Thanks a lot and have a nice day.